By day, Joe Whitbread works from his home in Red Deer. At night, Joe lives the dream. Well, sort of. <laughs> Joe doesn't play for an NHL team, but he's a lot closer to one than most of us ever get. And that has nothing to do with his skill on the ice. The Red Deer Jets are a rec hockey team funded by Carolina Hurricanes goalie Cam Ward, who, as it turns out, is also Joe's friend. Cam uh, won the Stanley Cup and the Conn Smythe Trophy as playoff MVP, and uh, he came back to two Red Deer, and uh, in a, a summer poker game about two weeks after he hoisted Lord Stanley's Cup, we jokingly asked him if he'd like to own our hockey team and become an owner, and uh, much, much to our surprise, he, uh, he said yes. And there's more that sets this team apart from the others. For every goal the team scores, Ward donates $20 to the Red Deer Special Olympics. And we just uh, supplement Cam's donation with a large settlement of our own, and we have uh, surpassed the $10,000 mark in only our third year. The Jets' charity efforts have rubbed off on the league. Even opponents are donating. Yeah, we uh, offered to uh, donate them $150 for every game they beat us, but we'll do it anyway. So we $300 a, a game or whatever. $300 for two games and then we donate it to them for Special Olympics. As if that's not enough, the Jets also have a website for post-game interviews and articles about the club's performance. The site was actually featured on the Hockey Hall of Fame site as well as the Carolina Hurricanes website. <laughs> Carolina isn't the only big league team these guys have a connection with. That's evident from the names on their jerseys like Timo Solani and Keith Kachuk. Throwbacks to the old Winnipeg Jets. It actually started very casually, just we all were old uh, old Jets names and, and numbers, and it just kind of kind of grew from there. Though the Jets are unique today, they may not be tomorrow. There's other teams now that are supporting a cause, uh, not just playing rock hockey at night, and I think we started all that, and I'm really proud of it. So while Joe doesn't have an NHL career to look back on, his connection with the world's greatest league is still one that great memories are made of.